The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're producing a trap song from scratch using nothing but stock plugins that come with Ableton. So to start any trap beat, you're going to need a synth. And there's a pretty good selection of synths that come with Ableton Suite. I'm going to check out Collision. It's something I really don't go through so much. Let's see what basses we have since this is already open. Whoa. This might be cool pitched up. Sometimes I like playing bass instruments pitched up. Hmm. I like that. Let's just hit this little square button right here. And Ableton was secretly recording in the background, so we just used it to grab that. Perfect. And it already made the tempo 144, it just kind of guessed based off of the tempo that we played it at. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit faster than that. I like 150. So now let's go into the collision instrument and see if we can make this sound a little bit more interesting. A little pitch bend envelope. Hey. Let's go to the excitor, excitator. Next thing I want to do is loop this thing out. To create our drum kit, I'm going to grab Impulse, drop it on the next MIDI track. Then I'm going to go into uh, Whole Loops Urban Beats 3. We're just going to load this thing up with a full uh, I like kick number three. Let's go find a snare drum. Let's get some closed hat action going. And for these hats, we're just going to do a little pan randomization and also a little bit of filtering. High pass filtering, though. Boom. Work. Let's just highlight from here to here. Make this our loop by hitting Command J and then clicking Loop, and then we drag it out. a couple more things to the synth just to make it a little bit more interesting. The first thing is going to be an echo. I'm just going to hit Command G on the echo plugin and then create another chain beneath it so that we can do some parallel processing like an aux return right here in the channel. I think I'm also going to split up my hats and my snares and I'm just going to do that by duplicating them going into the MIDI and just deleting the one that I don't want. So now we've got hats here on the top and then snare. And to make these hats bounce a little bit more, I've made a little preset of simple delay, and I just call it later. And you'll see that it's very simply just uh, taking the left and right channel and putting them about five milliseconds later. Although five might not be enough. I might try like 15. Yeah, yeah. Because that's more like saucy to me. This is boring, and this is saucy. Let's go ahead and fill in a kick drum pattern. Let's drop some kicks into this beat. Hey, I'm just gonna cut that off right there. Copies our kicks out and I'm just gonna hit Command U on them and quantize them to eighth notes as well. I'm going to take the velocity on the downbeat kicks and just turn it up just so that they're slightly higher pitched than the ones that are on the offbeat. Actually, you know, I might take the first 
one from each and even though that's on the off I'm gonna make that one louder too but not all the way just a little bit more now this high noise is getting a little bit irritating and when you go to put a vocal in here it's just gonna be too much so I'm gonna grab an auto filter and just tame this beast a little bit These dotted eighth notes might be a little bit too cluttered of a sound going over these straight eighth notes. So I might switch the echoes just to do straight eighth notes as well. A little bit more cleaner of a sound to me. And just to help the echo sound a little bit more gritty, I'm gonna drop the redux going into it to help them be a little bit kind of digital and bit reduction sounding. Let's drop some open hi-hats in this beat. Let's do a throwback. Let's hit up Urban Beats 1. No reason not to go back and use a classic. I'm just gonna drop this open hat right here. And before we play it in, I'm just gonna change this trigger mode and the pan randomization. Also do a soft start and a little bit less volume. Let's drop in some hats. Now, last thing I want to add is a little percussion. I'm kind of feeling a cowbell, so I'm just going to do a search for cowbell. Go through all of them. Oh, whole loops raw hits one has the one I was looking for. So I'm just going to double click that, turn the sustain down so it's not quite so long, and turn the voices down to one so that they cut each other off instead of overlapping. You already know. Let's go to a different instrument. Set a collision. Let's try something new. Let's try a waves table. <laughs> Let's waves table. Let's try wave table. That sounds nice. I'm gonna go with the piano pad inside of operator. Does your master chain sound a little weak sauce? Do your tracks lack organic flavor and quality? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Master Sauce, our organic blend of Ableton effects that'll get your master so crispy you might never use another plug-in chain again. Master Sauce is available now only at wholeloops.com. Last thing I'm gonna add in is an 808. Let's go to Urban Beats 3. Disrespectful 808s. Mm, can't go wrong with the third one. Let's turn the volume up on this a little bit. And let's turn voices up to one. Snap off. A little bit more release. do a whole lot of our shaping right here with the controls right at the bottom of our simpler. Now let's jam out on some 808s and see if we can record in a pattern.
start arranging this beat out. I don't want the uh, drums to come in until around here. Actually, maybe just hi-hats will come in right here with our little snare groove. Let's see if we can create some more switch ups inside this RP channel. There we go. Put an octave on that pitch bend. So maybe do a little pitch bend at the end of this one. That'll help it kind of bend down into the next note, kind of mesh the whole performance together a little more. Let's take our piano and just pan it left a little bit. Take our main synth and pan it right just the tiniest little bit. Next thing I want to do is edit this hi-hat pattern a little bit, make it a little bit more fancy. Let's try to take in. And then maybe a fast one. Let's mess with this transpose knob a little bit. It's kind of switching back and forth between. This one down a little bit extra. Those will give us some nice variations in our hi hat pattern, at least pitch wise. And now that I've got a beat to a place that I like, at least a solid starting point where I can start to pick how I want to balance things, it's time to drop a master chain on there. And I don't like putting a crazy master chain that's going to create latency and prevent me from being able to finish my beat. I like to put a master chain on there that's just Ableton plugins because those are going to be the lowest CPU. So I use Master Sauce. It's a uh, preset available at wholeloops.com made entirely of Ableton audio effects and uh, very simply and quickly run your song through some limiting and some brightening, some spreading and all the things that make it sound nice so you can pick your final balance as you go and still not blow your speakers up and clip your gain. Next thing I want to do is give this ARP thing kind of like a half-timed pitched down feeling. So what I'm going to do is just freeze this track. I'm actually going to unwarp it and transpose it down to minus 12. And I'm going to take this and just duplicate. And then duplicate this. And now let's loop this. So now we have created to go underneath this. I'm going to 
I'll give this piano pad a little bit of a bounce by just having the snare side chain it. So I'm going to tell it to get its side chain input from the snare. Might even have it do the same with the kick too. But just EQ, maybe like. Now I'm gonna try and see if I can clean out a little bit more space, starting with the 808. I think maybe these little pickup notes can go that way. That way it starts a little bit cleaner. And maybe in this thing, we can get rid of the pickup notes in here too. Last thing I want to do is group all the instruments in our beat and drop a little bit of auto pan on here. And not because I want them to be panned around, I'm actually going to do kind of like a tremolo effect with it. So let's uh, set it's like an eighth note. So I think I'm just going to jam out here on this amount knob and make a recording with it. So I hit these two buttons and I could just hit the uh, record button starting from here, hit record. like these last couple measures the best so I'm just gonna grab one two three four and copy it all like that maybe since this beginning part is a little bit too high still you just bring it down It's time to go and add our vocal. So I'm gonna create an audio track, tell it to use the mic as the input, record it, and before we record it, I'm gonna drop on lead vocal sauce, and this is gonna be all the compression, reverb, and delay we need for these raw recordings to sound good. And I'm just gonna bump up the compression a little bit, and the rest of it should be in a pretty good spot. And I'm also gonna grab auto-tune I know it's not an Ableton plugin, but Ableton doesn't really have anything like this. And I'm just going to tell it to be major, alto, tenor. And let's turn this up a little bit and turn on the classic algorithm. Now we're just going to arm our track for record. Yeah. Sauce. Sauce. Yeah. Got the sauce like it ain't nothing. Whole loops got my percussion. Tell me if I ain't the real puppet. Dang, I think I really on the sun. Got the sauce, yeah, got the sauce. Pocket tickets from the fake cops. Haters acting like they don't watch me. The baby looking like a photocopy. No, I don't eat a lot of fruity loops. And all my vegetables organic too. So watch me meditate like Buddha do. And if you don't know, you should get a clue. Now we've got our vocals recorded, let's duplicate this and do a run of some ad libs. Got the sauce like it ain't nothing. Whole loops got in my percussion. Tell me if I ain't the real puppet. Dang, I think I really on the sun. Got the sauce. 
sauce, yeah, I got the sauce Pocket tickets from the fake cops Haters acting like they don't watch me But they be looking like a photocopy No, I don't eat a lot of fruity loops And all my vegetables organic too So watch me meditate like Buddha do And if you don't know, you should get a clue So now we've got a lead and an ad lib channel. The next thing I want to do is add some mutes to the entire beat. And the easiest way to do that is to highlight everything but the vocal and do another group. And I usually like to make it another color or white just so I know that it's a mute group. So we can call this group mute. Then I'm just going to right click on here and say show automation and we're going to give it a listen and start clicking in where we want to hear some mutes. Since the 808's still hanging in there, we're going to have to do a little mute down here, too. That way we don't hear the tail end of the muted Blue's copping my percussion Tell me if I ain't the real puppet. puppet Dang, I think I really on the sun Let's try some short ones right here On the sun Sauce, yeah, got the sauce. Pocket tickets from the fake cops. Haters acting like they don't watch me. But they be looking like a photocopy. And for the photocopy line, I want the beat to have this kind of filter effect. So I'm just gonna turn it on. But they be looking like a photocopy. That'll give us some time to do some smooth automation. And then we're gonna click on our frequency knob. Boom. And let's have the lowest point be right here and everything else be a slope. Acting like they don't watch me. Watch me. But they be looking like a photocopy. Copy. And that's good for effects on the beat. Now I just want to do some effects here on the a cappella. Maybe during the song. Really do a little tremolo. So I'm gonna grab the auto pan to a sixteenth note. Put the phase together, turn the shape up a little bit. Think I really on the sun. Think I really on the sun. Maybe eighth notes instead of sixteenth notes. Think I really on the sun. Think I really on the sun. Do the phase out. Think I really on the sun. Think I really on the sun. Think I really on the sun. Boom. That's going to be our effect right there. A little auto pan and then back down. All right, so now that we've got all of our mutes and vocal effects in here, let's take one final listen to the song. Sauce like it ain't nothing. Whole loops copping my percussion. Tell me if I ain't the real puppet. Dang, I think I really on the sun. Got the sauce, yeah, got the sauce. Pocket tickets from the fake cops. Haters acting like they don't watch me. But they be looking like a photocopy. No, I don't eat a lot of fruity loops. All my vegetables organic too. organic too So watch me meditate like Buddha do And if you don't know, you should get a clue Sauce, 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 sauce The yeah. sauce indeed sauce. Well there you have it folks That is my tutorial on how to make a trap song from scratch I hope you found the tips, tricks, and shortcut in this video useful. If you'd like to check out Master Sauce or Lead Vocal Sauce, they're both available now at wholeloops.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.